James Madison and Virginia Tech in the JMU Invitational coming up on Thursday at 5 o'clock at Centera Park. Corey Spector here with Abby Maltese. And Abby, let's not sugarcoat it. It, it was a soaking wet practice, and uh, we could see it on your face. Yeah, <laughs> it was definitely an intense practice. How was it? A lot of fun? It was a lot of fun, yeah. Sliding in, I saw yeah. you guys afterwards. <laughs> look, it's always my favorite practices. Uh, look, you guys come off a big road trip uh, against Louisville, and you had the half against Ohio. So that first experience truly getting on the road since really 2019 team at a conference so how was that experience it was great it was great being with the team and getting to really challenge ourselves with uh, Louisville especially an ACC caliber school um, which we did really well against and yeah it was great to put the game plan in practice and get out there what was the most fun part of be about being on a trip like that um, I love I love being with my roommates and, and all that and um, the pregame like hype up is always the most fun for me any good food while you're out there um, yeah, we got some good food. We got some steak, which is good. Ooh, some yeah. steak. Okay. <laughs> I'll, have to, uh, I'll have to get a steak myself then when I, when I get out there. Big game coming up against Virginia Tech, and the storylines are immense with your sister coming into town, Sophie, who plays for the Hokies. She's a freshman, your senior. This is the first time you're playing against her? First time against her, yeah. We played it with each other in high school, but right. um, yeah, first time against. So she told uh, some people that her favorite memory growing up playing soccer was assisting on your game-winning goal at Briar Woods in the state championship yeah. game. So how did that play uh, come down? Uh, it was kind of just the through ball that she played through, and um, yeah, it was a, it was a big goal. Um, and there's like the, the picture of us after hugging and everything. It's just, it was a great memory. Your favorite soccer memory? Scoring the goal, okay. so <laughs> but with her, of course. Okay. Now, you have another sister, Avery, yes. who's a little bit younger yes. than the two of you. So amongst the three of you, who's the cleanest? The cleanest? Definitely not Sophie. <laughs> Probably Avery. Okay. Yeah. Who's the kindest? Sophie. Who say. frustrates the parents the most? Also Sophie. Okay. <laughs> okay. Avery's the tallest, though. Well, what do you do the best? School, hopefully. School? Okay. Well, you bring up school, and your aspirations are to be an aerospace engineer, I hear. Where did that interest come from? Um, I kind of always just wanted to be an inventor when I was little, and it kind of just morphed into engineering when I took high-level STEM classes in high school. Um, the aerospace pro part came from when I did a competition where me and a team actually got to send an experiment to space, and so we got to see the launch and everything like that, and I just... I knew that's when that's when I knew so after graduation what's the aspiration um hopefully go to grad school but then eventually work in bioastronautics so which is like manned space travel so you do that um you've also have a clothing company as well yes. do you ever sleep <laughs> sometimes <laughs> how do you balance all that um it's a lot of just prioritizing what's really important and it wouldn't work if I wasn't passionate about all three things so yeah. What's the mission of the clothing company? Um, create a more sustainable, more sustainable options than fast fashion, because um, there's so much pollution with the fashion industry. So, really getting to create something is fun for me, and then my customers get to feel good about what they're buying. That's pretty awesome. Now, another cool storyline about this season in particular is new assistant Rob Donenworth, mm -hmm. who I know coached your father when he was here, your father Chris, yes. back in the early 90s. Yes. Uh, so did your father give you any advice about how to handle Rob or take his criticism at all? He just said he was a very hyped up person, which he is, and it's great to have that energy on the team. What did your father Chris, when, when, you, when you came here, mm -hmm. what were some of the messages he gave you about this program and, and coming here and ingraining yourself in the culture? Yeah, um, it's a it's a team for the team. So the players and I feel like the culture has kind of stayed with it where we help each other out, whether we're competing against each other for a spot on the field, like it's it's all in for to win, to get that win, whether you're on the field or not. So I think that that has really shown itself here and just the hard work and um, yeah, I feel like that mentality is, is very big here. Okay, so now going back to those family ties, when we get to Thursday night, yes. warm-ups are happening, James <laughs> Madison on one side, Virginia Tech on the other, and you see your sister out there, and she's sneaking a peek towards you. <laughs> you give a peek back, or you completely ignore her? See, I'll probably peek. I don't know if she will, but we'll see. <laughs> will your parents be in attendance? Yes. Do they have those half shirts, Virginia Tech on one side, JMU yeah. on the other? They're wearing JMU shirts and Tech hats or vice versa. But, I mean, they went here, so I feel like they have to be a little bit on the JMU side. Right. Well, we'll find out when we get there. 5 o'clock, James Madison and Virginia Tech in the JMU Invitational. That's Abby Maltese joining us. Thanks so much. Yeah.